Hi guys, my name is Jeannie and I'm here. We're just gonna kind of give it a minute and let people uh, log on here. So I just wanna say hi to everyone. Hi Annette, Aubrey. Hi Oliver, welcome you guys. Thanks for joining us today. Let's see who else we got. We got a lot of people jumping on here. Um, so what we're working on today is this book called Using the Dictionary. This is a workbook, so you can get these. Um, we have, I'm sure you have the digital copy, but um, we're not going to have time to get through the whole thing today. So if you really love it, we can um, keep working on it and maybe pick up the rest next week. Um, but the, the physical um, book is available on heronbooks.com and um, we're going to dig in. Okay, guys. Um, okay, so welcome everyone. Thanks for joining. And um, I'm going to go ahead and um, just jump right in here. So I have my, does everybody have their, uh, let me just pull up the Q&A so I can see what you guys are saying here. Hi guys, everyone's just checking in. Um, yeah, so, so somebody asks, is it fine I talk here? I don't have the chat box. We do have the chat box disabled. Um, and if you have any questions or you want to say anything, then you just um, type it into the question and answer box and I'll see it and I'll answer you guys, okay? Um, and please do let me know if you have any questions as we move through because I'm checking that. Um, so yes, it's totally fine. Just type in the Q&A. So um, I have my workbook here. You guys should have the digital copy. I'm going to pull that up in a second. And then I have some dictionaries. So I'm going to ask you guys, um, how many of you have a dictionary with you where you're studying? Does anybody um, have any of those? Do you guys have any? Okay, good. So I see Emma, Zoe, you guys have yours. Um, let's see. Um, good question. How long have you been a teacher at Delphian? I've been working here for a year and a half and I teach French and poetry. Um, okay, great. So Isaiah, you don't have one. So Isaiah and everyone else that doesn't have one, what I want you to do is try to get access to one online. So I want you to try to find, just go to google.com and search uh, online children's dictionary. So you're going to do your assignments um, in an online dictionary, or you can just follow along because I've got lots here, so I'll be pulling them up here. I got a good selection. So we've got the Scholastics Children's Dictionary, um, Oxford Junior Illustrated Dictionary. Illustrated just means it has lots of pictures. This is one that I used to use when I was a kid, the Jin Beginning Dictionary. And we've got this one here. Have you, has anybody ever used any of these or seen any of these dictionaries before? Um, let me know. Okay, good. So, um, great. So yeah, just follow along if you don't have one and we'll do all the assignments together. So I'm gonna go ahead and start sharing my screen. Does anybody have any questions before we get started? Um, just go ahead and if you do, just go ahead and type it in and we'll stay on top of those, okay? So I'm going to share my screen right now and we're going to, okay, good. So it looks like you guys are ready. So we're going to switch over to this here. So this is our getting started, page one. Um, I'm going to go back just a little bit. There's a note for you guys here. So we're going to go ahead and read through that, okay? Um, it says, note to the student, this workbook is to help you have some fun while learning a little bit more about the dictionary. When doing the activities, it is a good idea to use many different dictionaries so you can get an idea of how they are similar and how they are different. If you have any questions or something does not seem to make sense, talk to your teacher right away. That's me. Some activities in this workbook have a box next to each step where you can write a check mark or put a star when you finish the step. So that's just to kind of give you an idea of how this works. Oh yeah, and have fun. That's definitely important. Um, okay, so part one, getting started. We're gonna just jump into the first page, okay? There is so much to know about the world. Every day brings a chance to learn something new. The dictionary is a book full of words and their meanings. It can be a good friend who is there to help you when you wanna know something. In this workbook, you will be looking inside some dictionaries to find out what's there. Do these steps. Find where the dictionaries are kept in your classroom. So obviously we're not in a classroom right now, so we're not gonna do that part. Um, but I do wanna know if you, know, you do have dictionaries at home, how many do you have? Do you have just one? What kind of dictionary is it? Um, yeah, I'd love, to, I'd love to hear from you guys on that. Uh, let me just see here. Juliana, tell me how many dictionaries you have. You guys have some good 
Um, let's see, I'm just going to go over to the Q&A here. Five. Wow. Aubrey says she has five. Juliana has two. We have one. Evan says we have one Webster's Dictionary. Very cool. Okay, good. So um, if you guys are also nine, Isaiah, that's awesome. Nine dictionaries. You're going to have lots of fun doing this. Okay. So holy smokes, Caden says 16. I think that's winner, winner. Um, okay. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to, um, so we've pretty much done steps one and two. Does your teacher keep a dictionary near her desk? I always have a dictionary near my desk. I don't have the one that I usually use, but um, the one that I have for my kids is this one here. This is the one I always have. So um, does your school have a library? Have you guys ever gone to the library and gotten or looked at the dictionaries there? I don't know that. I bet that's a pretty big section. Um, Andrade says we have 10 dictionaries. Wow, that's really cool. Um, in your school library or in a class of older students, see what this says, ask the librarian or teacher to show you the largest dictionary in your school. That is a really cool assignment. I don't know if you guys have parents that have dictionaries at home, but um, if you do, I'm going to go ahead and give you a minute to go uh, check out what dictionary is the biggest or the largest one that you guys have, okay? Um, okay, good. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do this second page here. Um, find a dictionary, draw and color the cover here. So do you guys have, I, I'm hoping most of you guys printed this out and have this uh, document printed in front of you because there is a lot of coloring and drawing. Um, we're supposed to guess how many inches tall it is. So I'm going to be doing that with mine here. I'm not coloring it because I didn't not and I don't have crayons, but hopefully you guys have some ways to do that. Um, and what we want to do is we want to go ahead and guess how many inches tall it is. So what do you guys think? Do you think this is the height? I think I would probably say this is the height. So I don't know if you guys can see here, but I'm going to guess that that's about a foot, 12 inches. What do you guys think? Um, so that's my guess, but you guys should be looking at your dictionary if you have one, or you can look at mine if you don't have one at home. And we're gonna guess how many inches wide it is now. So that's this length here across the bottom. And I'm gonna say two, three, four, five, I don't know, six, seven inches. What do you guys think? Does anybody think 3.5, 13? Juliana says 13, good. And then we're gonna do a guess to how many pages it has. So without looking at it, what do you guys think? Does anybody wanna type in a guess to how many pages this dictionary has? It's about, I would say an inch and a half thick. So why don't you guys shoot me some answers? What do you guys think here? 199, Brittany says 199, cool. Do we have any more guesses on how many pages are in this dictionary? Here we go. Austin says 500 to 700. Okay. Isaiah says 209, 800. Wow. Some of you guys are probably looking at various dictionaries, but let's take a look. Ready? Let's see what we got. Number of pages is 648. Austin, you nailed it there. And uh, let's see who else was really close. I think that was, uh, that was the closest guess we got. So, um, so we guessed how many pages it has. Let's guess how many words. I don't really know how many, how we would check that, but we could look at an average page here. Can you guys see if I'm holding up the dictionary? I'm just gonna go ahead and hold it up here. And uh, you can see that there's quite a few words on here. So I don't know, but I'm gonna guess that there's probably a couple thousand words in this dictionary, right? So that's pretty cool. Um, I mean, I think a lot of us go to Google when we have questions about things or words. Um, so it's actually going to be really interesting to see what is different and what information is in the dictionary and how that's different from what's just on Google if you Google something, right? Um, let's see. So let's go back to, yeah, that's a really good, five, somebody guessed 5,000, 1,000 to 3,000. Emma and Zoe said 70,000, I think. I don't know how many are in here, but I think that those guesses all sound pretty, pretty good. A lot is probably the answer, the main answer. Okay, so I'm going to go back to sharing my screen so we can take a look at the activities now. 
Um, guess how many ounces it weighs? What do you guys think? If you have one at home, I'd love to hear how much you think yours weighs. I'm gonna say that this is probably a couple pounds. I wish I had a scale. That would be really cool. If you have a scale at home, you should weigh yours and see. But it's definitely heavy. Okay, cool. Um, now do this. Find a different dictionary. Repeat some of the guessing steps. Mark your answers on this chart. So if you are one of the people that had, Caden says his, he thinks weighs five pounds, Isaiah 45 pounds. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know if we have a 45 pound dictionary, but maybe all of our dictionaries together weigh 45 pounds. Um, I'm actually going to go half a pound. Okay, cool. About 32. I'm going to jump on to the next page here. So page 10. Um, and it says picture show. Let me just go ahead and minimize something here. <clears throat> One second. So pictures show what things are. As you know, dictionaries have pictures to show you what things look like. This funny looking camera is called an instant camera. The photo comes out of the front after taking the picture. Have you guys ever seen an instant camera? It's pretty cool. So the first thing we're going to do is animals have, we're going to do this activity here. So it says animals have different kinds of coverings to protect them. Choose a dictionary that has good pictures in it. Look at some of the animal pictures in it. Use tally marks to show how many of each kind of animal covering you can notice. Try to find five of each kind. So let's do this together. Let's go ahead and see if we can find, um, if we can find things with, I want some people to look for feathers, some to look for scales. And let's look through the dictionary and see what pictures we can find, okay? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start looking at mine and I'm gonna keep your guys' answers up here so we can, um, okay, let's see. For, I'm just gonna kind of hold this up as I go through. So I'm just gonna kind of go through the pictures like this and see which ones. Oh, here's one that has um, some camels. So camels have fur, so we should put a tally mark on that one. Here's another one. This is a picture of a cheetah, also has fur. And here's one of all the parts of a chicken. So that one has feathers. So we could do one on that. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep this over to the side. I wanna be able to see. Oh, my dictionary has no pictures. Okay, cool. So if your dictionary has no pictures and you would just work with me on this one. So let's keep going, see what other animals we can find. Um, oh, here's another one. This is a picture of a condor here, right here. So that's another one that has feathers. Uh, Juliana says, do you have your hand raised? You want to type your question into, ooh, alligator, that's great. Um, alligator has what on it? It has scales on it. So that's one for that. Ooh, I got another one, crocodile. So another one with scales. Um, so I don't think we're quite to five yet, so we'll keep going a little bit more. And if you guys find any animals, please do type it in and let me know what animals you see. So I'm going to try and find some more. We're just, oop, I got a bunch of them here. I got a bunch of dogs. So dogs have fur. Dogs are mammals and have fur. Um, dinosaurs. Cool, Isaiah. Well, so what would that be? That would be scales, right? I guess. I mean, I guess we don't really know. I've heard that dinosaurs have feathers or scales. What do you guys think? Should we count? What is the difference between a crocodile and alligator? Great question, Evan. Let's check it out. So this is exactly what we use dictionaries for. So let's read the definition and see what it says for crocodile and alligator and see if we can figure out what the difference is. Okay, so crocodile says a large scaly reptile with short legs and strong jaws related to the alligator. Okay, so we know that they're related. So that means they're similar in some ways, kind of like you guys probably have cousins or um, people that you're related to, but they're not exactly the same as you. Here's alligator, a large reptile with strong jaws and very sharp teeth related to the crocodile. Well, that's not very helpful, is it? Um, alligators live in parts of North and South America and China. So that could be something that you guys could do a little bit. Ooh, look, there's a cool word history here, you guys. It says crocodile comes from the Greek word crocodilios, meaning lizard, because it looks like a very large lizard. So that is a little bit of information about where the word comes from. So it comes from a Greek word. So that's pretty cool. Um, okay, awesome. Cow, snakes, tiger. These are great. Okay, cool. So let's go back to the activity and see what's next. I think that we've gotten a good amount of these different animals. We did that assignment pretty well. Um, let's see here. 
Okay, good. So let's move on to the next section. Okay, good. Look inside a dictionary and find a picture of an animal you like. Now look in a different dictionary and see if it has a picture of that animal. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to go through my dictionary here. Um, I'm going to go back to where you guys can see me so you can follow along. Okay. Um, lion. That's a good one. Okay. I'm just going to go on the first one I see here. Ooh, grasshopper. Okay. So here's my picture of grasshopper right here. And now I'm going to go to a different dictionary and see if it has a picture of that one in this other dictionary. Let's see. Grasshopper. It does. There we go. There's a grasshopper in this one. Okay, cool. Um, anybody doing this at home? Anybody checking to see if there's, I'm going to look in another dictionary just because we have a little bit of time here, but I'm just going to see what else they have for grasshopper if anybody else. Oh, here's another picture. So there's another one there. Cougar. Um, great. These are awesome answers, you guys. Um, cricket. Good. Isaiah says cricket. Okay, good. Let's see what the next step is here on our workbook. I think probably what I'm going to do is just for now, you guys have that at home. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull it up in my workbook here, my actual, that way I don't have to keep jumping back and forth. Okay, so <clears throat> draw your animal in the space above. Show your drawing to another student. So I don't know if you guys can do this, but I would love to see some drawings of your animals. If you have it printed out, that would be really cool to see. Um, okay, Kaden, you said it's going a little fast. No, no worries. Penguin, please, Nathan says. Okay, ravens, pug, awesome. Okay, great. So I'm gonna give you guys a minute here to kind of work on finding your animal, checking it in another dictionary. And if you want to, you can take a minute to do some drawing on here, okay? So um, this is the page that we're on in the workbook, this one right here, and you're supposed to draw a picture of whatever animal you want um, and then show it to another student. So I don't know if there's anybody else in your house, but if you have a way to show it to somebody else, then let's do that. Okay, good. I'm going to go ahead and go back to this and we'll, I'm going to give you guys about three minutes to do that and then we'll go from there, okay? Okay, um, I got a really cool question here. It says, what is your favorite animal? Thank you for asking. And I have, I have two favorites. I have a favorite land animal and I have a favorite ocean animal. My favorite land animal is elephant. I love elephants. I think they're super cool. And my favorite ocean animal is octopus. I think they're really interesting and fascinating. And I love watching videos of them changing colors and camouflaging. I just think they're they're really cool creatures. If you guys want to tell me what your favorite animal is, that would be really cool. I would love to hear. Um, okay, so there was one question. Oh, Kasha says a dog. I don't know if I'm saying your name right, but I love dogs. Dogs are awesome. Uh, land animal is the, the panda from Isaiah. Very cool. Those are great animals. Um, anybody else have a favorite animal they want to share? A raccoon. Caden, that's awesome. Raccoons are super smart. Um, 
cats. Cats are great. A snow monkey, Juliana. I do not even know what that is. I should look it up in the dictionary. Okay, cool. So we're going to go on to the next section. And right now we're on section 12. So I'm just going to hold that up here, kind of show you guys um, section 12. And here's what it says. When people travel, they go from one place to another. There are many ways people can travel. They can go on land, by water, or in the air. And then this says, do this. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so you guys can see the actual workbook here. Okay, so we're in section 12 now. And we're on, Evan says cats. Ben says a whale. Whales are awesome. They're probably my second favorite. Whales and dolphins are really cool and very, very smart. Um, okay, cool. So we're doing this this activity right now. In a dictionary, find pictures of different things people can travel in. Put a check mark on this chart for each one you find. Okay, cool. So I'm going to start working on this. If you guys are at home, do the same. Nathan says mine are penguins. Penguins are really cool. And Brittany says dolphins. Dolphins are awesome. Okay, good. So I'm going to look for things that fly, float, slide, move on wheels, or other. So I'm just going to go through my pictures here. If you guys have dictionaries at home, Go through your dictionaries. I'm going to go back to where you can see me. That's the assignment. So you guys can kind of follow along with my dictionary. So I'm just looking for, oh, here's something. Can you guys see that? It's a boat. So that goes on water. So that's one thing for the water category. Oh, here's something else goes on four wheels, a wagon. Let's see what else we have here. Um, this is something that flies in the sky. That's one of ours, right? A kite. What are you guys finding at home? Kiosha. Okay. Did I get that right? Kiosha. That was really helpful. Thank you for clarifying that. And that says ravens, cats, tigers, and snakes. You found a baby crawling. Perfect. Okay. So which one is that? Let's go to our, uh, our workbook here and see which one, which category of baby crawling would go under. Um, I guess that would be other, right? Because we have flies in the sky, babies crawling definitely doesn't do that, floats on water, slides, moves on four wheels, moves on two wheels, other. So I guess the baby would go on other. Good job, Caden. Okay, a high kite, that's right. And that one is this one flies in the sky. Okay, I'm gonna keep going here. We're gonna do this activity just a little longer. This one's fun, I really like this. Ooh, look, I've got a Viking ship in my dictionary here. Can you guys see that when I hold that up? I can't tell if you can see the pictures at all. Um, a balloon, that's another one for the air. Train is another one. Juliana, what do you think train would go on? It doesn't fly in the sky, it doesn't flow on water, it doesn't slide or move on four wheels or two wheels. So I guess that's another for the other category. Um, a jet. Good. Emma and Zoe, that's a catamaran. Cool. Do you guys know what a catamaran is? Let's look that up because Ben says a catamaran, but I don't know if anybody else is going to know or most of you guys are going to know what that word is. So let's see if it's in my dictionary. It is, but there's no picture, but it says a boat with two holes that are joined together. Hole is the main part of a ship. So I'm going to check another dictionary and see if any of my dictionaries have a picture of it. So that's one of the reasons why it's really cool to have two dictionaries because, or even more, because if something doesn't have a picture, you can go check and see if it has it in a different one. So I'm gonna check this one. And this is a specific type of boat that I'm looking up to see if there's any dictionary of mine that has a picture of it. And if not, that's a great time to use Google, because you can always find a picture of whatever you need on Google if you need a little bit more information that you're not getting from your dictionary. <clears throat> so I'm just going to check one last place here. And it's not in here. So no pictures available. So you guys can always go check that out. And a bulldozer, a submarine. That's right. Great. Okay, so we're going to go on to the next activity here. Um, okay. If you could travel in anything, real or imagined, what would you like to travel in? That's a cool question. Why don't you guys shoot me some answers? An ice boat, awesome answer. A yacht and a sub, that's cool. I think real or imagined. I would love to travel in a train that goes under the ocean with one of those glass tops. Have you guys ever been to an aquarium that has one of those tunnels? 
I think that would be really cool. Like if there was a glass covered tunnel that went under the ocean so I could see all the ocean animals underneath without really disturbing them. I think that would be pretty cool. A teleporter, Austin, that's awesome. Where would you go in your teleporter though? Anybody else have a, an answer to this? If you could travel in anything real or imagined, so it doesn't have to be a real way of travel, what would you like to travel in? Let's see if we have any other answers. Train, train's pretty cool. Juliana, did you have another answer? An air balloon, that would be awesome. I think I'd be a little afraid. I'm, I'm a little afraid of heights, so I would be nervous in an air balloon, but that's an awesome answer, Ben. Okay, a cruise boat, Kaden, good answer. That is a very fun way to travel. Okay, cool. So now we're gonna go on to the next section, section 14. How's this, is this a little better on not going too fast? Let me know, you guys, if I'm going. Oh, let's see here. I would like to ride, sorry, my computer is freezing a little bit. Okay, Kiosha says, I would like to ride on, I don't know where that went. Oh, a dragon, awesome. Kiosha, that's a great, that would be super cool. A dolphin that teleports me to England, and that says, a fighter jet, a cloud. Aubrey, that's a cool one, a cloud. I wish that clouds, like you could sit on them because they look so comfy. I think that would be really fun. Okay, cool. Sports are games people play where they use their bodies. People have been playing sports for thousands of years. Some of the oldest sports are running and archery where you use a bow to shoot arrows at a target. Do this. Many dictionaries have pictures, but they don't all have pictures of the same things. Get a dictionary, look at the pictures. When you find a picture of people playing a sport, write the name of the sport in the first column below. So I'm gonna go back to my screen share. Let me just see, so you guys can see my, uh, where we're at on the workbook here. So we have two columns here that we're gonna be working on with the sports one, okay? And then we're gonna check it out. Once we find one in this dictionary, we're gonna check it out in a different dictionary. So I'm gonna go through and just look for a sport and find a picture of a sport. And once I find it, I'll show on my screen where it is. I'm still looking for a sport. Hmm, not finding any sports. Have you guys found any sports yet? Anybody found any? Finding lots of other things, but I haven't found any sports yet. There's a dolphin. Drums, that doesn't quite count, does it? Hmm, an eel, elephants. Hmm, has anybody found one? <clears throat> oh, I've had, okay, so Juliana found swimming, yes. And Brittany found basketball, great. Kiosha found basketball too. Okay, good, so let's check another dictionary. For, those are really helpful. I'm gonna go over to basketball and see if mine has a picture of that. Mine does have a picture of basketball, so I'm gonna go over to my camera here. Oh, we've got some more raised hands. Let's see, who has their hands raised? If you guys, instead of raising your hand, if you want to just, oh, Yosha says a gymnastics too, just type your, um, your question in the Q&A and I will see it there, okay? Okay, good, so we've got soccer and baseball too. Yeah, Tom, you said you had your hand raised. Do you want to type something? Diving, that's a good one. So I'm going to check a different dictionary. I'm going to see if baseball and basketball are in here. And I'm going to go so you guys can see me. Let's see, what do I got here? Cheerleading, that's a great one. Okay, let's see. Let's see if some of these are in here. So I'm gonna to go to the baseball page first and see what we got. Okay, so this dictionary has a big picture that shows all about baseball. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's the baseball page. And it has this little tiny thing about basketball right there. So that's what my dictionary has. And then this one, it doesn't have anything on baseball, but it has this picture of a guy playing basketball. So that's just an example of the difference in the dictionary. I wanna check, let's see what else we got. Let's check, Isaiah says hockey. Let's see what pictures they have for that. Anybody seeing any difference in their dictionaries at home? Does anybody have more than one that they're able to check? Okay, my dictionary does not have a picture for hockey. Let's see this one, let's see if this one does. <clears throat> Nope, neither one has it. <clears throat> they both just have the definition. So 
so interesting. Sometimes they're going to have it. Ice skating, cool. All right, good. So let's see what the next activity is for us here. Okay, so we're just kind of checking out the difference. I think we've done that. Okay, so now here's the next question. What sport would you like to play? So what sport would you guys like to play? Give me some answers. Andrew's asking what time this is over. This ends at noon. So we have about 14 more minutes, 13 more minutes. <laughs> um, anybody have any sports that they'd like to play? Kickball. Okay, cool. Let's see if kickball is in here. I don't know if... Nope, I don't even have the word kickball in here. No word and no picture. Um, I'm gonna look up, so we've got, Brittany says football. So I'm gonna look up football and see if they have any. Oh yeah, we have a picture here, football, of a guy playing right there. Okay, cool. And any other answers to what games you'd like to volleyball and baseball from Juliana? Aubrey says soccer. Uh, I would love to try basketball because I love baskets and balls, so why not? Plus it looks fun. That's Pretty good point. Absolutely. Basketball, volleyball, floor hockey, and soccer. And then I don't know what floor hockey is. Is that hockey that's not on ice? I'm guessing that's what that is. Soccer and cheerleading. I'm going to check cheerleading and see if that has a picture in the dictionary. I bet it does. I feel like it's going to. Let's take a look. It doesn't. Bummer. But we could always check a different dictionary, right? We know how to do that. Okay, we got, um, Brittany also says cheerleading. So let's check another dictionary and see if we can find one that has a picture of cheerleading. <clears throat> nope, just the words, no picture. Well, we can always go to Google when we don't have everything we need from a dictionary. So you guys can do that. Let's see what the next activity is. Okay, so we're now, I'm gonna screen share here and we're going to go over to the workbook again and here's the next activity a sandwich is two or more slices of bread around a filling of cheese meat or some other food this is really good right right before lunch the word sandwich comes from a story about a rich man from england whose last name was sandwich back in the 1700s so right now we're in 2020. So this is back when it was 1700, so a lot of years ago. He was playing a game of cards, but did not want to stop to eat. He ordered a cook to put meat between pieces of bread so he could eat while he played, and his fingers would not get the cards messy. Soon everyone was calling slices of bread with filling in between a sandwich. Did you know that Americans eat almost 300 million sandwiches each day? Let's eat. Make a list of what you would put inside the best sandwich ever. I cannot wait to see your guys' answers. So what would you put if you were making the best sandwich ever? Let's hear it. I want to hear what you guys have. I'm going to go over here to your answers, especially because it's like almost lunchtime right now. I feel like you're going to have some good answers. I think I'm not very creative, but I really love peanut butter and jelly. That's, that's pretty, yeah. Austin says peanut butter and jelly. Aubrey says cake, a cake sandwich. <laughs> that sounds pretty epic. That might be like a birthday lunch, right? So um, what else could you guys, cheese and meat, lettuce with pickles and hot dogs. Kate, and that's, that's adventurous right there. Ben says cheese and meat. What else do you guys think? Cheese, cheese, and more cheese. And that, that is my kind of girl. I like that a lot. Okay, the next step says, look in a dictionary to find a picture of something you would like to eat for breakfast. Okay, so we're gonna look for something that you guys would like. I would put salami with this as a type of ham and lettuce and tomato and a pickle. Yeah, and that sounds really good. Okay, so I'm gonna look through here for something that I'd like to eat for breakfast. And if you guys have a dictionary at home, I want you to go through your dictionary and see if you can find something that, ooh, well here this works. I have a ton of fruit on my page, all different kinds of fruit. And I love to eat fruit at breakfast. So I have pear, melons, pineapple, banana, all these different breakfast foods. So I'm definitely set. Turkey and mayo, Austin's still on cake, great. Bacon, pancakes, these are great. I found an omelet, I would love an omelet. That's so good. Yeah, these are definitely great answers. Okay, 
Now do the same steps using a different dictionary. Okay, good. So I'm going to switch dictionaries. I'm going to go over to this one right here, and I'm going to look in here for my breakfast, my dream breakfast. Beans, no. Pumpkin, no. Pig, well, I do like bacon. Does that count? Should we use that? I'm going to use my, my pig. Let's see what you guys found. Strawberries and tomatoes, cereal. Ooh, a smoothie. That sounds really good. Okay, good. So I think I got my two breakfast um, foods. And we can keep doing that. I'm going to let you guys finish doing that page. You check for lunch, snacks, dinners, and desserts, and you check in dictionary one and then dictionary two to see which one has um, pictures of things that you'd like for each of those meals. So I'm going to let you guys, since we're almost done, I'm going to move on to this one. Ask three students which food they like the most. So I want to hear from you guys. Tell me what food. Ooh, a fruit bowl. Yum, that is really good. That's a great answer. I'm trying to think of what my what my favorite food, I mean, I think it's pretty obvious my favorite fruit is pizza. Like, don't we all love pizza? I do. I'm just looking through your guys' answers. Uh, let's see, it just kind of went out of there. Anybody else have any favorite foods they want to share? Tortellini, Annette, yum. That sounds really good. French toast strata. Evan, I don't know what that is, but I want it. It sounds incredible. Bacon, pancakes, and pie. Those are so good. A slice of bed with strawberry and eggs on top. Oh, that sounds really good. Like strawberry jam with eggs. Peanut butter, Nutella, yum. I love noodles and spaghetti, yum. Ooh, pizza, pizza hamburger, Juliana. That sounds like my two favorite things combined. Great answer. Okay. Okay, good. So we're going to go on to the next page here. And I'm going to go back to sharing my screen. Anybody else? Mac and cheese, Emma and Zoe says mac and cheese. Yeah, and brownies, that's good. That's definitely, ooh, miso ramen, Oliver, cool. That sounds really good. Any other answers on your favorite foods right as we get ready for lunch? Mom's risotto, Aubrey, I would love that. That sounds delicious. I love risotto. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna go back to sharing my screen here and see what, we're gonna go back to Hmm. I don't know where my other things went, so that's fine. We're just, I'll just hold this up here. So we're on this page right here, and it says, a musical instrument is anything that can be used to make music. For thousands of years all over the world, people have found things to make music with. One of the oldest musical instruments found was a flute made from a mammoth tusk. That's pretty cool. So the first step is, oh, and then it says, the bagpipe is a musical instrument that people have been playing for a few thousand years. So now we're gonna look at the word bagpipe in a dictionary and read what it says. So let's take a look. I'm gonna use this dictionary because it seems to be my favorite. It has the most pictures and I like the definition so far. <clears throat> okay, here's what it says. Bagpipes, a musical instrument. To play the bagpipes, you blow air through a pipe into a bag and squeeze it out through the, these little tubes that stick out. So I'm gonna hold that up and see if you guys can see the picture. So there's the bagpipe, right? And you blow air into these things and then you let it come out of these things and that's what makes the sound. So that's what a bagpipe is. Cool. And let's see. Okay, I'm gonna go through here. Ooh, cup of noodles, tempeh, french fry, french fries, burgers. Ooh, Juliana has a flute, awesome. Okay, cool, so what we're doing now is, have you ever heard someone play the bagpipe or the flute? If you wanna hear what they sound like, ask your teacher to show you a short video so you can see and hear them. So that's another thing that you'll definitely do quite a bit is you will use a dictionary kind of as a starting place to get some information and then if it doesn't give you enough, you can go use other things like talk to your teacher or your parents get some help. Maybe YouTube has some videos of things you're interested in, or um, you can look in Google and just look at the pictures, or there's also lots of different books that have more information in them. So we're going to see, oh cool, You've so Brittany says she's played a bagpipe. That's awesome. Ben says piano, and uh, Brittany says Cause, because in part Irish. That's awesome. That's really cool. Okay, so then the next activity is to get a dictionary, look through it to find pictures of the musical instruments on this list. 
So we're gonna look and see what things we have. We have a few minutes left here before we're gonna wrap up. So look, we're probably gonna um, do this page and then we'll just talk about any questions that you guys have and then you can keep working on this activity book. Hopefully you guys are having fun. Um, Kaden says drums and Annette says piano. Awesome. So let's take a look in our dictionaries and see the first one I have here is accordion. So let's see if we have a picture of accordion in my dictionary. And I want you guys, if you have dictionaries too, I want you to check at home and see who has a picture of an accordion. Oh, I do. Here's my accordion down here. Let's see. Anybody else have any? Okay, Juliana says I have a guitar. Cool. Yep, I have a guitar on this page too. That was the next one. So I actually have it right here on this same page. And then harp. Let's just let's see if it has one for harp. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but um, there's letters on the side of each page. So when I'm looking for something, I'm looking, okay, I'm gonna flip through and find the letter I'm looking for. And then I'm gonna go up here to these words at the top and that these are called guide words. And you're gonna learn more about them in a little bit, but they're gonna help you find words quickly when you're starting to look up words in the dictionary. They're really helpful. Okay, cool, here's my harp. So I have a picture of a harp. The next one is piano. What, what instruments do you guys see in your dictionaries? Kiyosha says, I've played the drums and my brother takes guitar practice and he can play regular and electric guitar. Wow, that's awesome. And then Zoe say, my favorite is ukulele. I love the ukulele and Brittany says drum. Okay, cool. So let's check for piano. And I've got a picture of a piano. Does anybody at home have pictures of any of these instruments in their dictionary at home? The next one I'm checking is a violin. And again, I'm using these guide words to help me find the words that I'm looking for. Let's see if there's a violin. Oh, this is the first one that we don't have a picture of violin. Oh, okay. And any other instruments that anybody found? Nathan says, I play drums and my bro plays guitar and my sis sings. That's awesome. You guys have a family band. Juliana says a trumpet. Ben, you play piano. Very cool. Anybody else play any instruments? I do not play any instruments. I used to play the drums when I was little and that was really cool. I liked playing the drums. Any other instruments that you guys play? Got a couple more answers here. Drums and flute. Very cool. Kiyosha says, I play drums and flute. Haley says, we found most of them. Yeah, we did. We found most of them. Guitar. Aubrey plays guitar. Very cool. Okay, guys. So that's pretty much all the time that we have. I'm going to switch uh, off here, but just before I go, I want to make sure um, if you have any questions, you have a second to type those in to me. Um, bye, Brittany. Thank you. Thanks for coming in, you guys. I hope that it was fun and interesting, and I hope you keep using this workbook. You can print it out, and you can do the activities by yourself at home. Isaiah, you're welcome. And oh, Kiersha, you're welcome. I'm glad you guys liked it. Thanks so much for joining you guys. And uh, maybe I'll do one next week and we can uh, do some more. I'm going to go into a different slide now, but bye guys. Thanks so much.